know, sometimes it's tempting to look at a corkage fee, and especially if it's reasonable, something like 10 or $20, and think to yourself, wow, if I brought my own bottle of wine, and even if I have to pay the corkage fee of, say, $20, I am still ahead of the game. My dining cost is still much lower than if I were to order a bottle of the wines that are listed on the wine list. Is that a good idea? Um, my response to that is always no. So if the sole purpose of bringing a bottle of wine to a restaurant is to lower your dining cost, that is never a good idea. And here's why. Most restaurants spend a tremendous amount of time and effort on putting together a wine list. And a lot of consideration goes into the wine list, including the type of food the restaurant serves and the type of experience they would like for you to have. So the wine list is generally put together so you can choose wines that pair well with the food and the staff are trained to make recommendations for wines that go particularly well with certain dishes. So if you're bringing your own wine, that kind of distorts that equation because there's never any guarantee that that wine will actually go well with the food the restaurant is serving. And that affects your overall dining experience. And going out and dining out is supposed to be this um, adventurous experience where we experience something that we wouldn't experience at home and we learn new things. So bringing your 10 or $15 bottle of wine to lower your dining cost is never a good idea. A better idea is to ask your waiter or waitress or the wine director of a restaurant for a recommendation in a particular price range. So decide ahead of time how much you want to spend on the wine and go in knowing that you'll need to find a wine in collaboration with the staff that matches your taste and that price range. That way you're guaranteed to have a pleasant dining experience.